1991, the San Diego State Aztecs proved to be one of the most electrifying teams in major college football. Two simple words engender the Aztec philosophy. Big play. Lowry to throw, going for the bundle. Falk is wide open at the 40, got it! 30, 20, 10, touchdown San Diego State, 80 yards! In 1992, crowd-pleasing exploits will continue under the direction of junior quarterback David Lowry. As a sophomore, the scrappy signal caller earned kudos for his aerial artistry, 19 touchdown passes, and a national top 20 ranking in passing efficiency, underscored a storybook campaign. Lowry's impressive numbers were garnered in little more than half a season. A year of valuable experience and a host of talented teammates will add double impetus to Aztec Bowl hopes in 92. Lowry with two wide outs, wants to throw, looks left, throwing deep, trying to hit Darnay Scott on a home run, bomb there, got it, San Diego State. This fall, Lowry will take aim at a dazzling array of talented receivers, led by number six, sophomore wideout Darnay Scott. Blessed with outstanding speed, the shorthanded Scott set an NCAA freshman receiving record against arch-rival BYU, 243 yards including touchdown receptions of 79 and 75 yards. Guard Joe Hines. Tackle Tony Nichols. Guard Carson Leomiti. Remember these names, for they are the bedrock of championship dreams. Only a junior, Leomiti is an awesome combination of size and quickness with unlimited potential. Number 66, Joe Hines, and number 73, Tony Nichols, form a devastating duo on the weak side of the Aztec line. They wear red and black. They deliver black and blue. Equally adept at both pass and run blocking, the Aztec O-line will do double duty come September for an offensive backfield rated among the nation's top 10 by the Sporting News. Number 44, sophomore Wayne Pittman, started three games as a freshman, rushing for an average of more than 150 yards per contest. Number 27, senior Larry Maxey, will see action at both running back and H-back. The club's top rusher two years ago, he is also an exceptional receiver. But the focal point of national attention wears number 28. His name is Marshall Falk, and he is quite simply the finest running back in college football. Only a sophomore, his abilities are already the stuff of legend. Surprising strength, impossible quickness, breakaway speed, and an absolutely uncanny ability to avoid tackles. Last year, as a freshman, Marshall Falk led the nation in both rushing and scoring. Unheard of accomplishments for a first-year player. On September 14th, he exploded on the national scene, carrying for an NCAA single-game record 386 yards. His seven touchdowns on that memorable night set a national freshman record as well. His stellar accomplishments lifted him to a ninth place finish in the Heisman voting, the second highest vote total in history for a first year player. In 92, Falk is ranked the number one running back in the country and is third in preseason Heisman polls. Last season, Mr. Falk and his Aztec teammates averaged 33 points per game, 14th best in the nation. This year, with unprecedented depth and experience, the multifaceted Aztec offense may be literally unstoppable. Intense, fiery, passionate. Aztec head coach Al Luganville can match Marshall Falk yard for yard on game day as he marches up and down the sideline. Luganville's relentless pacing is a fitting metaphor for the giant strides Aztec football has taken under his command. In just three years, 
he has maneuvered the program within striking distance of national glory and has done so by instilling his young charges with a burning desire to excel. In 1991, Luganville started four true freshmen and one repeatedly with a wide open style that has come to characterize Aztec football. If completely unexpected, it was nonetheless positively magical. In many respects, the road to the 1992 WAC title began in 1991 on a balmy October evening in an enchanted land far, far away. October 5th, 1991. An idyllic Hawaiian sunset foreshadows the emergence of a juggernaut. In David Lowry's first start at quarterback, Marshall Falk runs wild, leading the underdog Aztecs to a 47-21 triumph over the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. It is the beginning of a spectacular seven-game undefeated streak, which culminates in a Freedom Bowl berth. On this night, the young Aztecs come of age. They win impressively, on the road. Indeed, they will not lose another whack game all season. Credit a supercharged offense and a determined defense. These are the faces on the other side of the football. In the wild, wild whack, offense garners headlines, defense wins games. <laughs> In 1992, Aztec fanatics can look forward to the biggest, fastest, strongest defense in recent memory. From the trenches to the secondary, this aggregation is solid. Last year, Damon Pieri was an all-conference free safety. This fall, number 39 will line up at cornerback, an indication of the squad's newfound depth. Pieri is just one of seven starters returning to action in September. Number 15, strong safety Chris Johnson, and number 34, dimeback Robert Griffith, will also play key roles. Johnson gained valuable experience as a sophomore, intercepting two passes and recovering a pair of fumbles. Griffith specialized in the big play, leading the conference with five fumbles caused. He was second on the team in both sacks and tackles for losses. A sure tackler, he also blocked a pair of punts for good measure. Number 42, Terrell Steen, returns at his outside linebacker spot. A three-year starter, his enthusiasm is contagious. The linebacking core will be bolstered by the emergence of number 50, Mark Roberts, a spot starter as a freshman. The new Aztec free safety will be veteran Darrell Lewis, whose speed and savvy spells trouble for opposing air games. In all phases of the game, Aztec football is an imaginative blend of artistry and aggressiveness. It's no secret, on Saturday nights, San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium reverberates with the sights and sounds of the just slightly insane. They wear the Aztec red and black, and they come to share the magic. 60 minutes of freewheeling football that bewitches fan and foe alike. In 1992, San Diego State takes the field as a legitimate WAC title contender, riding a seven-game conference on Beacon Street. They'll be tested early and often by one of the toughest schedules in the nation, with six of those contests taking place right here at the Murph. On September 5th, the legendary Trojans of USC kick off the season in an historic first ever meeting between the two universities. On October 17th, the improving UTEP miners inaugurate the home portion of the conference campaign. One week later, the famous wishbone of Air Force jets in for a traditionally exciting whack dogfight. fight.
on November 14th, Hawaii's Rainbow Warriors seek to avenge last year's defeat. The following Saturday, it's Welcome to the WAC as the Aztecs take on new conference member Fresno State. The home schedule concludes on November 28th with a huge intersectional matchup against the defending national champion, Miami Hurricanes. San Diego State Football 1992. National talent, national attention, a preseason top 25 ranking, and a schedule worthy of a first-rate national program. Play a part in the Aztec attack as the red and black take dead aim at a whack title and a holiday bowl berth. The best is yet to come. The 1992 San Diego State football season begins soon. Catch all the exciting action at San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium. For Aztec football tickets, call 283-SDSU.